So now, everybody, we have finished, we have 100% completed Banjo-Kazooie. That's right, everybody. Let's have a look-see at it. 14 hours, 24 minutes, 51 seconds, 100 jigsaws, 100 notes. And full health. And I did the board. I did the complete board. That's right. Full health. Even with, even with double health, that barely... I just snatched my victory away. That was intense. That was way more intense than I was thinking. By the way, look. Look, 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 look. She's in there. She's trapped. That's right, everybody. And she will remain trapped. Hopefully, forever. But what's funny is you can't break this rock. I've tried. I've tried a lot. You can break these rocks, which look, I dare say, even more sturdy. But you cannot break this rock, because it's made of Grunty's enchanted fortress, I assume. That's right. To think, to think, everybody, that that entire game took place in just this little fortress. Let's have a, let's have another, another look here. Uh, okay, good. I just want to make sure Collie Wobble wasn't going to come out and hit me. It doesn't look that big. It really doesn't. I mean, think about it. Of all the stuff that we went through, it's all contained in there. You don't fuck around with magic. I'm just saying that right now. You don't fuck around with magic, especially not when the witch looks like that. But what what an innocent game. What a great game, I have to say. What This game has attitude. This game has everything that I wanted as a child. And I'll tell you what, guys. Not right now, but... I, I'm really debating doing this because a lot of people really want to see this. So tell you what, guys. Just for you. Just for you. I will go and I will collect the secret egg and the secret key, but for right now I need to do a proper wrap-up of my 100% completion. That will be in a separate video um, category. That will be that'll be called Banjo Kazooie 110%, where I use the same save file. It'll probably only be one video long, to be honest. But I'll just uh, I'll go to the uh, the Treasure Trove Cove, put in all the codes. Like I won't do I won't put in the codes. Um, on camera, but I'll just say, here's what I'm putting in, boop, and then we'll go and get the shit, and then uh, that'll be it. That'll be my 110% completion. I was really considering not doing that, considering how long this project has gone on for. I mean, this project went on for, like, I'd say at least 30 more videos than I anticipated. I only wanted this series to go on for about 40 parts. But looking back, now that I've sat down and played through the whole thing again, this is a long-ass game. You got your bang for your buck back in the day. You got attitude, you got great soundtrack, you got memorable characters that'll live on forever. You just got... You got such... such creativity, such imagination, and such great gameplay. Even if I do... even if that last little bit with the Ginginator was kind of shit, just with the camera controls was fairly difficult. I remember that being the case even on the N64. It was very annoying. Yes. This will be... Look at those eyes. Look at them. Look at them pulse. It's all just right there. The whole game takes place in that little mountain. <sighs> A chilling thought, I would say. Innocent onions. Not that innocent. So, let me just give a proper wrap-up to Banjo-Kazooie. I have to say... For the time this game was made, this is an exceptional... This is an amazing game. I fucking love this game. This is one of the few games that I would actually probably give if I... If I did, uh, If I actually gave a shit about giving ratings, like a 10 out of 10 or whatever... I kinda do, but I kinda don't. I've never actually sat down and critically reviewed anything... Um, like a video game, just because my opinions change a lot. But this is at least... At least a 9.5. 4 out of 10. The only thing that that kind of kills it for me is that sometimes the ca the camera controls are wonky and the fact that stop and swap never came to be and they just kind of leave you with that big teaser at the end. E especially if you go through and collect all the freaking 100 notes and uh, uh, jiggies from everywhere. That's that's a big blow to the nuts, but other than that, the final boss fight is incredibly difficult if you don't have that... Uh, I don't know actually if I could have done that I actually really, I, it might have taken me the better half of an hour to try to do that. She is, I either need to be really good with those golden feathers, or you need to be on your dodging, man, because she is really good with her fireballs. 
just, it's the perfect balance between shooting her with eggs, activating other things, flying through the air. It's just, it's one of the best boss fights in a kid's game. This isn't, I wouldn't even consider this a kid's game. This is just a video game, in my opinion. Because, yeah, it's cartoony, but it has stuff that everybody in it can enjoy. That's my distinction, okay? Here's my distinction between something that's, that's a kid's... How do I put this? Something that is labeled as a kid's game is something that adults can literally not get any enjoyment out of. I don't care if it's marketed for children. I don't care if it's designed with children in mind. For example, the Transformers. I don't consider that a kid's show. I consider that a really good animated show about robots. Autobots and Decepticons. I mean, yeah, I guess you could call it a kid's show, but it's just, it transcends its own genre of just being dumb and silly for kids, you know? I don't know. Either that, or I really think we need to give kids a little bit more respect, because if this kind of stuff gets made for kids, what, what kind of stuff do we make for adults? If we can make something this charming specifically for kids, what are we making for ourselves? That would imply that as we grow older, we make something even better. And to be honest, some some of the games that... Well, a lot of the games that are made specifically for adults in mind are so less fun than this, so less creative than this. So really, it's... We either need to say, this is not a kid's game, this is just a great game for anybody to enjoy, or we need to give a little bit more credit to our kids because... This is beautiful. This is a beautiful game. In every sense of the word. Even the ugly things are beautiful in their own disgusting way. They contain that little that little kid's aspect of like bugs being gross but still kind of daring your friends to eat them or like oh no way man I'm not going to eat that. Oh come on, I'll give you a, a stick of gum if you if you eat it. I'm talking like uh, sorry, I guess I grew up in the 1950s where kids dared each other to eat bugs for sticks of gum. <laughs> oh. So I don't know, just this is even if I hadn't played this game as a kid, just looking at it critically, I have to say, this is just one of those games that is so wonderful. A joy. A joy to play. And now let me see, I think if you look at the picture of bottles, something happens. There we are. Well, hey, you found my secret moving picture game. Complete this puzzle and you win a mystery prize. It better be good, soil brain. Do I get some new moves? Or maybe! <laughs> now watch this. I'll try this once. This is something that is... Oh, use the control stick to move Banjo's hand. Press A to pick and put down the pieces. B to return them to a slide to left and right. C buttons to rotate them. Oh, rotation. This is something... Whoa there, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's wrong, Beaky? Is my game too hard for you? Shush, shush, shush. I hit the start button because that freaked me out. Hold on, the, the recording paused. Damn you, uh, bottles. What's, whatever you... Oh my god, why do I only have three lives? What the fuck? Why do I only have three lives? That's... Give me my nine lives back, you sons of bitches. God damn it. Okay. Here? No. There we are. I don't actually know if you have to rotate anything. Maybe. Oh, I think... Oh man, that is... disconcerting. Okay, screw it. Oh man, it's glitching out to the extreme here. I'm so bad at this. As you can frickin' tell. Hold on, hold on, let me start let me start over again. This is this is basically what they do in Banjo Tooie though. This this puzzle moving thing. Okay. I'm gonna get this. If it'll stop freezing up on me, jeez. There we are. And really should find the corner pieces. Man, it's going nuts. I really should get the corner pieces first. Really? Holy shit, man. 
We need to do this quick. Ah, oh, this hurts me so bad. Here, just put it. Concentration levels at maximum. Ah, oh, so close. Tough luck, guys. You're out of time. Why not try again? Sure thing. God damn it. Okay. Okay, good. It doesn't kill my lives. I was afraid it would. Let's do the corner pieces first. This upper part is really easy. Whatever, just leap. Ah! Leave the pieces for now. Leave the pieces where they'll lie. Right there. Come on, come on, come on. Play through the pain. No, 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 you silly. Oh, I see. It's right next door. Come on. Yeah, I know why it's slowing down, because it has to render all of these images as, like, at the same time. Probably. Poor emulator. Here we go. Got it. Hey, you did it! It was easy, Beetle Breath. What do we win? Listen carefully, and I'll tell you. Y Use the tiles on the floor of the sand castle in Treasure Trove Cove to spell the word Bottles Bonus 1. Go and give it a try. Now, I think if you, uh... uh you can also try level 2 of my game if you like. Just look at the picture again. Now I, th I think I'll I think I'll give that a miss this time. I'll save that for uh, Banjo Kazooie 110 percent. Uh, but yeah, anyway, sorry. I, I knew that puzzle game existed, but I don't think I've ever beaten it. Sorry for the emulation slowing down. As a matter of fact.